So, what's going on, everybody? This is Paul Newell, your New Wellness Guide. Uh, New Wellness Guide is, uh, it, as I'm journeying, as I'm living my life, I'm tuning into what my version, what a new wellness is for me. Like, outside of all the traditional ways people talk, deem wellness to be wellness, I'm in this search right now in this part of my life where I'm figuring out what wellness means for me. And as I'm figuring this out, I'm helping others do the same. And uh, where I am right now in my life is uh, I'm about to embark on a six-month sex detox. Um, why the hell would you do that, Paul? Well, I'm glad you asked. Uh, I'm, I, I, found, I found that uh, recently, looking back on my past relationships, my relationships can come to a halt. They can come to a wall, like this space where it's, it's, it's beyond growing any further. And... Um, you know, it's at 44 years of age, uh, I'm like, I'm, uh, you know, I want to be in a relationship after being divorced and going through some relationship turbulence and, you know, with, with women and with my kids. And um, I find that like, wow, there's something that keeps happening. Like there's a pattern that keeps getting repeated. So um, recently in my past relationship, I'm grateful for, for that. Um, you know, in this uh, like past relationships, I'm learning to be grateful for it. In this In this relationship, I was recently part of. Um, I recognized like something came to me where, uh, you know, uh, this wall that I was just talking about, like this place where I, I, I experienced re resentment and frustration. And, um, I've been doing work with this woman, Alona Hress, and she's a massage therapist that's ch slash, slash channeler slash Reiki master. And she does a whole bunch of goodness. It's freaking amazing what she does. And my second session with her. We talked about this and we talked about um, uh, sex and, and women and um, relationships. And, you know, I went to her originally because my hip, I have hip concerns. And um, in my sacral, uh, and I, for those that have seen my videos before, like you may know I'm a yoga guy. If you don't know, now you know. Uh, and I believe in energy centers, chakras, meridians, and how they can have an impact on the body and how past relationships and past trauma can do the same. So going to her and like having her help with this and today it was an amazing experience because, you know, we addressed this. We addressed the women that are still in my auric field and like uh, a lot of the anger and the sadness and... Um, you know, the hooks. And when she, we were talking about this, she told me, she helped me recognize, um, she, you know, her, her guidance. Um, I taught myself or I helped recognize within myself that uh, uh, sex is the hook for me. Like, it's the hook for me. It's, it's uh, sex is my aspirin. Sex is my, uh, it's my pacifier when I, when I want to be free of, of really diving into what's coming up for real, for real. Like for real, for real. Like what the pain is, and um, and want to be free of, of being lonely and feeling and thinking that I'm lonely. And um, she helped me recognize it when she was talking. I, I recognized it myself. I was like, I settled for sex instead of love. So what I what what that means is I started basing I I really based the relationship off of sex, because when it was time for it to go deeper, it, that's when the wall hit. And I recognize this because like, I, you know, as she was talking, I'm like, dang, man, I really, uh, I have yet to learn how to really love myself. So how can I possibly love another or guide another on how they can love me? So with that, here is born the six month detox. Now, six month, no sex, no sex, um, no kind of sex. Masturbation, she said, is allowed um, only if I absolutely need to. Um, and I'm going to do my best to be free of masturbating uh, during this six-month period. Um, not going to make any promises. And uh, I'm going to be free of making promises. Sorry, green language. Uh, and she had some things, um, you know, during this time. She, she helped me, you know, she helped me go some things I get to look at. And one of them is, how do I make love to me? Um, how do I make love to me? Like, how do I love myself? And she had two key points that, are, that, are, that really hit for me. The first was she said, people can live without sex. They can't live without love. People can live without sex. They can't live without love. That junk. Wow. Um, 
so much to unpack in this. So much to unpack in this. And then she also mentioned that the soul can deliver what the ego can't provide. So this space for me, uh, this six month uh, uh, sex detox, is really a chance for me to learn to love myself, learn to be with myself. Um, for those that have read Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill talks about the transmutation of sex. This is an opportunity for me to tap into that creative energy center, which is also the sacral chakra, which is also said to be the seat of sensuality, sexuality, uh, and creativity. So I get to tap into that portion of it. Um, because there's some areas in my life that could use some creativity right about now-ish. So um, this is the chance to love myself. And, and I'm, I'm putting this video out here as an invitation to, to men. Um, listen, if, if you find that you're in relationship and the relationship stalls at a certain point, you recognize that it's something that happens on a consistent or regular basis, I invite you to give this detox a try. Um, and, and free of it being solely about sex, this is about love. This is about love for self. This is about figuring things out. This is about honoring the body, honoring my body, um, in this case. And actually, and, and as Alona was doing some process with me, she was like releasing women, um, that I've slept with, uh, from my auric field. It was like, Wow, I recognized, I was like pulling at some of them. Some of them I barely, I barely recognized. Some of them was like, what the heck, I, I, who are you? Um, and I recognized at that moment as this was happening and, and this pain was leaving my hip, I recognized like, damn man, like these, these feels and these energies were hooked into me because like that's what I, I was using sex as she mentioned as that hook, like something I could latch onto so I could think I'm in love or feel some sort of love and really it was only love to a certain extent it was love of a physical act rather than something that's of an emotional or spiritual act so I got a lot to learn man I got a lot to learn and I encourage more men um, if you're watching this I encourage you to do a some sort of detox of sex this when this video is recorded it's a week before Valentine's Day so I think this is my Valentine's present to myself I'm gonna give myself six months off of sex no sex and uh, I'm going to see what happens for me. I'm going to see what this whole journey um, looks like and, um, and then go from there. So enjoy the ride. Uh, if you want to tap in, you can uh, leave a comment and, uh, you're, and, uh, and then I'll follow back up with you with an email um, as far as like what I'm doing, questions I'm asking, my process. Because I, damn it, I don't know. I'm just, I'm going through this. I decided today's the day. I'm start, I started today. Um, February 7th, 2020. Two seven. Oh wow, it's interesting. Two plus seven equals nine. So I'm completing one vision and I'm getting clear on another. Um, completing one vision of what sex and relationship is like, and then I'm stepping into creating another right now for myself over the next six months and beyond. So thank you for watching. Get on that sex detox, man, because listen, um, sex is something that's sold on a reggae up in this piece, on a regular in our society. So um, as a man, I think it's helpful for us to be free of the sex, uh, be, uh, to get on a sex detox. Really look at sex as what, how we're using sex. Um, because sex will sell, and for men, sex can get your ass in trouble, boy. What? You better recognize and listen. If it's somebody that knows, it's me. So I'll tell you right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Thanks for being a part, a part of this journey that I'm on and, and support me. And... Uh, Stay tuned for the next video. This is Paul from The Wellness Guide, and I'm out.